The Sud de France is an organization that promotes the wine, the food, and the culture of southern France, specifically the Languedoc Roussillon. I am in love with the wines from Languedoc Roussillon, so they sent me out there for five days with a video camera. I visited 10 winemakers and got to see just how magical this place is. The following videos are my experience of the wines that we should be seeing more and more on the American market. Please enjoy. So we're here, this is our first stop in Pic saint Louis. So I'm Frédéric Mézi from Claude des Augustins, uh, like a new winemaker, young, and a new domain of Pic saint Louis. Uh, and nice to meet you in this area. Great, and, uh, nice to meet you, and uh, <laughs> thank you for taking us in and showing us everything, and we're gonna be showing some really amazing stuff. He does a lot of biodynamic uh, agriculture and everything. We're gonna show soils and how geeky everything can be. So Frederick is a really amazing winemaker. He's very young. He comes from a long generation of winemakers, as you see here. And um, he's been doing a lot of biodynamic work. Uh, for the first year, I take it back. This one, I have uh, Firebauer for Bayektar from uh, uh, Labour. I don't know. Labour? Uh, Labour? Just to... Um, oh, to remove the, the soil, you know? Yes, to remove the soil with the tractor. Oh, okay. Firebauer okay. Bayektar. Normally, it's uh, between 40 and 50 minutes. Oh, but it was really, it was really bad. bad. There was chemists, everything, so no herbs, okay. no, no life. Well, these are all Syrah, right? Yes, this is Syrah. This is all biodynamic. They, uh, there was a cooperative and they redid everything and now they're doing all biodynamic practices. So what's the, what's the, uh, the soil here is mainly, you said clay and It's, uh, um, for the Pixalou, it's clay and, ch and chalk. So the shotgun shells for worms or boar? <laughs> for savage pigs. <laughs> <laughs> and who's this? Is this the, the vineyard manager? <laughs> <laughs> All the wines refer to member of my family, so... After the vineyard we went into the winery, I am completely unbelievably impressed with the biodynamic work he did. He took a vineyard that was dying and revitalized it. And here is his facility where we started tasting some of the amazing wines and seeing how amazing the process is. Then he took us into the laboratory. For a biodynamic winemaker, the laboratory is not a bunch of chemicals. There are things like chamomile and herbs they use to calm the vines and wake the vines up. Chamomile? Oh. Wow. Yes. And what Which is, is it's, it's like, like, like for people, you know? To, right. be, to calm down. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. It's, it's the sleepy tea. <laughs> this is amazing. He showed us the chamomile, and the chamomile, what it does for humans, how it calms us. It's our sleepy time tea. It's the same thing for the vineyards. If the vineyard's a little bit stressed, he mixes that into the uh, water and sprays it into the vineyards to calm the vines down a little bit. How awesome is nature? Then it was time to taste some wine. Look at this little cellar. This is a very small operation, but that's what's beautiful. It's so concentrated. And that painting right there is the inspiration for the label. It's a friend of theirs that is an artist in the area. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like Han Solo <laughs> from Star Wars. It's his, it's his wine. Yeah, it's his wine. Him and Chewbacca will be here in about, you know. Yeah, exactly. This is where we start tasting wines from the vineyards we just came from. Breakfast. <laughs> This is a 2009 from the vineyard we were just at. Look at the, look at the way it's coating the glass. Nice dark spicy fruits, all syrup. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> As we 
tasted through all these wines, all I could think about is how balanced and beautiful they were and how this word terroir that the French use is in these wines. This is Languedoc Roussillon, a place known for a long time for mass production wines, but these winemakers, these humble winemakers are doing amazing things in small amounts. Beautiful wine. Just a little more expressive, a little brighter. The peppery notes are a little bit lighter. Here is another painting that inspired the wine label. You're going to see that lady in the hat card in the chairs in a second here. But this was the first estate that I visited in Languedoc Roussillon, and already we started talking about sustainable agriculture, organic, biodynamic. And what we're noticing here, and what we're seeing from the get, is Frederick and young winemakers like him are going back into history and taking care of the land. The vineyards is what everybody talks about. The vineyards, the vineyards. And then when they get into the facility, they try as hard as they can for the wine to make itself without interfering too much. This is Languedoc Roussillon these days. This is how they're going to reinvent their legacy. And the beautiful thing about these wines is on the American market, they're very affordable. This is how Americans can really start to understand French wine. The idea that good French wine has to be expensive to be great is absolutely wrong. There's all kinds of wines in France, and especially Languedoc Roussillon, the largest wine producing region in the world. And this is the start of my journey, and I had a lot of fun, met a lot of great people, made a lot of new friends.